Hey folks, welcome to the homestead. Just a uh, little video here. I'm going to show you something that we had happen here last night. Very dangerous situation that uh, could have been catastrophic for us. And uh, I want to show you this so that you can be aware of it and uh, possibly save yourselves some heartache in the future as well. So last night Haley came in and she was, uh, well we came into her room to put her back to bed. This outlet right here is where her space heater for her room is. She's got a little electric fireplace that runs to keep the room warm. It's pretty cold in this corner of the house. This is what I found when the light was on. So I've done some checks with the uh, multimeter and getting some crazy voltages running from 125, which is acceptable, and then down to 60, 40, 0, back up to 40. So low voltages causing high amperages which led to an overload and a pop here. I'm going to break this outlet open and I'm going to show you what we have inside. Uh, we'll replace the outlet, but uh, I know why this is like this and I'll show you that in a minute. So this right here, we've got the uh, outlet out and the power is isolated. You can see how these wires are put into the back of the outlet and you see the scorching there on the power side. The black is your hot wire. So these are supposed to be hooked up to the screws on the side. I don't know why they make outlets with the option to push them into the back, but any electrician will tell you that this right here causes house fires. It was very common back in the 80s and 90s. This house was built in 1996, and we believe that every outlet in the house has been wired this way, and we are going to be going through and fixing our outlets. So here's our new outlet. We got the uh, hot side attached to the brass screw. We have the neutral attached to the silver screw and the ground attached to the green. This is how it's supposed to be. I'm just going to install the outlet back into the box. Then we can uh, put the plate back on and test for voltage. And I'll show you how that's done in a moment as well. Okay, so we've got everything hooked back up. The breaker has been reactivated and we're going to use our multimeter here to test the voltage in the plug. They're set for AC amps, or AC volts, sorry. And Sam's gonna tell me what it says when I insert the black into the ground, and the red goes into the hot. It's been turned on, and Sam's gonna tell me what we have on our screen. What do we got there, buddy? 122. 122 volts, that's acceptable. Anywhere between 125 and 115, you get lower than that, that's a little on the low side for 110 volts. So what happened here was when I tested this outlet, when I put the multimeter in like that, I had it jumped up to 125 and then it dropped down to 80, 60, 40, back up. So we had inconsistent voltages coming through because the way this was hooked up on the back. That led to high amps which led to an overload situation, which led to this here hot side overloading. And we almost had a fire in this bedroom last night. So if this is how your outlets are hooked up, get them replaced. If you can't do it, bring somebody in, get them done. It is worth the peace of mind to get Haley. it done. And we have a job of work in front of us to get the outlets done in this house because this is an unacceptable situation. What? So hopefully you pick something up from that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time from the homestead.